Do you ever have an idea for a new product that would completely change the world? Like diet water for effortless weight loss, or car seats with built-in toilets so you can go on the go? No? Just me? Well, there have been inventors that have made their inventions world-changing realities, like Nikola Tesla or Alexander Graham Bell. Some inventors weren't so lucky, though. In fact, some inventors have been so unlucky that their inventions not only failed, but also happened to kill them in the process. Let's take a look at some of the most famous inventors who died at the hand of their own inventions. William Nelson was a GE employee who invented a new way to motorize bicycles and died when he fell off his prototype bike during a test. Ismail ibn Hamad al-Jawari, a scholar from Farab, died when he attempted to fly using two wooden wings and a rope. He leapt off the roof of a mosque to test his invention, and it didn't work. Valerian Abachovsky constructed a high-speed rail car fitted with an aircraft engine. It derailed at high speed in 1921, killing six people, including Abachovsky. Francis Edgar Stanley, inventor of the Stanley Steamer car, died when his car drove into a woodpile while attempting to avoid farm wagons on the side of the road. Jean-Francois Pilates de Rosier attempted to cross the English Channel in a hot air balloon that he invented when it crashed, killing him in June of 1785. Franz Reichelt was a tailor who invented a parachute jacket. After telling authorities he would test it with a dummy first, he trusted his invention and took a leap of faith and jumped off the Eiffel Tower wearing his jacket. It did not work. Horace Lawson Hunley was a Confederate inventor who created the first combat submarine, but he died along with seven other crew members while testing it. Arl Vlyachu invented his own airplane and died when the plane crashed trying to cross the Carpathian Mountains. Perillos of Athens invented the medieval torture device known as the Brazen Bull, and was reportedly the first person to be executed with it. Henry Smolinski created a flying car based off the Ford Pinto, and died when the car plane crashed during a test flight. Andrew Zelenzenyakov was a Soviet scientist developing chemical weapons when a vent hood malfunctioned exposing him to the nerve agent Novichok 5, which he was working on. He died years later after suffering the nerve agent's painful effects. Marie Curie, famous chemist who discovered radium, died years later from aplastic anemia caused by long-term radiation exposure. Sabin Arnold von Sochaki also died of aplastic anemia after being exposed to radioactive materials he had pioneered, primarily used in luminescent paint. Henry Winston Lee built the first lighthouse in England, which was a marvel, but the Great Storm of 1703 knocked it over, killing him and five other people inside. John Day was an English carpenter who built an experimental diving chamber and died while trying to test it. Thomas Andrews Jr. was an Irish shipbuilder who was responsible for constructing the RMS Titanic. While traveling aboard the ship on her maiden voyage, it famously sank, killing him and passengers. Thomas Midgley Jr. was an American engineer who contracted polio. He developed a system of ropes and pulleys to get him out of bed, but eventually was accidentally entangled in it and died of strangulation. Karen Suchek was a Czech stuntman who developed a shock-absorbing barrel. He died while demonstrating the barrel when it was dropped from the Houston Astrodome. Max Vallier invented liquid-fueled rocket engines for rocket cars, and while he was working on a rocket at his workbench, it randomly exploded, killing him. Mike Hughes was killed when a parachute on his homemade steam-powered rocket failed to deploy in 2020. And finally, Wan Hu was a famous 16th century Chinese official who attempted to launch into outer space on a rocket chair. The rockets exploded, and it's said that he nor the chair were ever seen again.